Hey everybody. Logan, say hey. Yeah. Logan's not happy. He got stung by a bee already. We um, have been working on the fence. So I'm leasing my grandpa's farm. And basically he is almost 80 years old and somebody was using the farm and they had their cows over here but they didn't fix the fence like they were supposed to. So when the lease was up, they got their cows off the land but they didn't do any work or any maintenance to anything here. So we have about 80 acres um, and my grandpa was talking about selling some of his land and because he doesn't have any cows or anything and I was like, well, just let me lease it for a year. Give me a year and let me see what I can do with it. And so that's what we're doing. We are planning on moving out here um, next spring. So we're just trying to get everything set up for that. We have a lot of work to do. So basically, um, our fence is, my grandpa used to work for a steel company and they had like the rebarb, re, rebar, rebar, rebar. Uh, I'm thinking of barbed wire. So the fences that we were doing here are rebar and the barbed wire um, with the little yellow insulators. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. Um, so that was the old fence. It had all this Johnson grass grew up all the way around it. Um, so basically what I've been doing is my husband's been cutting the Johnson grass around the fence and then I've been going and restringing the barbed wire. Um, I call it barbed wire so y'all have to excuse me. <laughs> I even spell it barbed wire because I don't know but I do know that it's barbed wire. Um, I also have a little one who's very unhappy right now because he was gung-ho to come fix the fence so he can get cows and then he got stung by a yellow jacket. There are a lot of yellow jackets around here. I'll have to tell you my weed eating story. But basically, I wanted to lease the farm just so I could save it. I don't want it sold off. Like, you go down the road and you see all these old farms up for sale and I'm tired of seeing it. And even if I can keep it leased until something happens to my grandpa and then it goes to my mom and my aunt or then eventually my kids will get it. I don't know. I just hate seeing all these farms for sale and I can't buy it. We're buying 14 acres, but that's all. We can't afford to buy 80 acres. But I do know that God makes a way, so I do believe that he can make all things possible. With God, nothing is impossible. Luke 137, that's the verse I live by. But basically my, my dream is to have cows. I would like to have beef cows. That way, you know, if I have people that want to buy half of a cow, they can do that. I want to have a flower farm. Maybe have, like, flowers for events. Um, I want to have a place for photographers to come. And I want to grow weird things. The slogan so far is Davis Family Farm, where the weird things grow. I have, um, I got some tomatoes from Wild Boar Farms. And I also have a lot of things from Baker's Creek. Then I also, y'all saw my, well maybe you didn't, if you follow me on Instagram, I got over 400 packs of seeds. I went to Dollar General and got 398 packs one day and then I went back and got like over 100 the next. So I have a variety of seeds and things that I want to try and things that I want to grow and things that I want to do. And the thing is, I never know. I mean, you don't know if it's going to work until you try it. So this may be a dream and it may fail, but I have to try it. So that's just the beginning. We're just now, I mean, this field behind me is just three acres. Um, it's just a start, but I mean, it's a start. Hopefully we'll get there. If you guys could just keep praying for us and our family. And if you have any suggestions, I mean, please, by all means, we'll listen to them. Thank you, and I hope you guys have a great day.